Hi guys, welcome back my glorious line infantry. Today we are on Napoleon Total War Online. It's not been on the channel for quite a while, but we are back once again. It is a fantastic, fantastically fun way to play a Total War game, Napoleon Total War Online. And it's quite unlike any other of the Total Wars uh, in terms of the online, because obviously you're using line infantry. It's so good. It's so fun. You can have engagements, withdraw, go back in. And I don't really find that on a lot of the other online games. If you're in an engagement, you're stuck there till the end. Whereas Napoleon, you can go in, come out, regroup, come back, flank, different things. It's a lot slower and, in my opinion, more fun than a lot of the other online uh, elements of the games. But anyway, without further ado, we are on Ligny. And we are fighting as the French against the British. Fantastic. Good to see that, even though it was the Prussians in real life. Um, but we are on Ligny. One of two battles, and the second battle will be one of our other 12 battles of Christmas, guys. So make sure you subscribe down below. Now, without further ado, I, uh, that was a very long introduction, I know. Let's go through the compositions of the armies. So let's go through my army first. We have three of the standard chasseurs, our uh, skirmisher troops over here and we have one of the 6th uh, regiment d'infanterie légère the uh, elite sort of special uh, chasseur unit over here with the cool red epaulets um, and shoulder pads there very nice indeed we also have four of the swiss foot the very strong Swiss foot, a really good option rather than the standard fusiliers you get with france just because they're slightly better in a lot of their stats. We also have one of the six inch, six inch howitzer ready to rain fire down on the British lines today. We have four, five, sorry, of the Chasseur à Cheval. Very overpowered unit. The best unit per price, I would say, in the game uh, for the most bang for a buck you get in the game. I can't speak today again. What is wrong with me recently? But anyway, then we have one of the Young Guard and two of the glorious glorious old guard now let's look at the british army he has two units of the king's german legion light foot decent light, light foot units uh, he also has i believe it's two of the rifles um uh, obviously some of them are hiding right now but two of the rifles as well he has two of the light dragoons and two of the standard heavy dragoons as well so a scary cavalry contingent ready to go for him as well now he's got a lot of foot he's got four of the foot over there two highland foot the 88th foot connaught rangers the guys from connaught these guys are a very very uh, famous regiment in the british army at the time and a couple of the king's german legion foot as well and six pounder horse artillery so that artillery is very mobile it can move anywhere it wants so we're going to be wary of that but without further ado guys let's get playing and basically my plan was to hold the river hold the front line up here and flank around the left flank with my elite troops uh, and get ready to destroy the enemy on the left flank and squeeze them that way until they draw enough troops this way uh, so that we can then go across the river. Now, it's a decent plan, and we'll see how it pans out. Uh, in the second video, we do also play on Ligny, but I go a very, very different route. In fact, we go all the way around this way to try and flank, and it, it's probably a bit too far, I would say, compared to this left-hand flank if you are playing one-on-one. -on -one. This is a lot easier and a lot quicker to get across, as you can see. But as you can see, our fire is raining down upon the enemy with our howitzer. But he is bringing his uh, cavalry across as well as me. And bringing two units of the chasseur à cheval. And uh, we see his cavalry. It's isolated. And the chasseur isn't going to beat them in melee. But the chasseur has their special weapon. Which is the carbine, of course. And we are going to try and use that to the best of our ability. On top of that, we've got our chasseurs over here ready to fire at the enemy. And he's moving his men around the same as us. We are putting a lot of men in the houses just to secure the crossing to make him feel like he can't come across uh, the river. But here comes the chasseur. And look at that. Firing into the enemy. Doing some serious damage. Doing some really good damage without even having to go into melee there, which is fantastic to see. Uh, and you can see uh, he doesn't really like that at all. He's bringing a lot of troops across this way. 
but they're just foot, etc. Whereas we have some of our most elite units here. And we're bringing our men forward again to keep firing into the enemy. See what they can do. Uh, and we know if he charges, then we can withdraw and fire upon the enemy. Look at that. That is just, it's just shredding. These troops are so good. But if you're watching this, uh, if you're watching this, Carl, Carl von Clausewitz, be proud of me for using my chasseurs decently for once. <laughs> and you can see that Dragoon is already routing. It's only one to 41 troops, but they've just taken so much damage without dealing up out any damage themselves that it's just too much for them. Uh, the one thing that is slightly annoying is that I didn't quite realize that these guys were in range of their King's German light foot. Uh, so my old guard has taken 20 damage, to, uh, 20 troops dead there, which is kind of uh, not great for us as we are targeting down this side because we are getting ready to go for a push. I had some issues with my light troops uh, in, this, in this battle. And you can see they weren't firing there at all, even though they definitely are in range of that foot. They weren't firing. And we're going to see the same issue here and here as well. The uh, 6th Regiment... D'Enfantry Legere is not going to fire unless I actually manually specifically target them, even though they were on fire at will. It's a very, very weird series of events. But you can see he's bringing his foot forward, and I wasn't quite sure what he was doing here as we are pushing our cavalry again towards the enemy Light Dragoons, trying to get rid of them. Uh, and I just went for an all-out charge now because I knew that we could break them pretty easily. After that huge volley, you can see there, we absolutely shattered them. So now we have free reign on this flank. He's put these guys in square, and this is where we needed the 6th uh, Regiment d'Enfantry Legere to uh, fire upon the enemy. And look at them. They just stood there to attention. Do you want me to fire, sir? Uh, yes, please. Uh, I can't do that, sir. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, I don't know why they have uh, posh English accents when they are French. But I am not going to embarrass myself trying to do a French accent. <laughs> and you can see uh, he has been targeting down some of these buildings. And I have a, been a bit careless because I've been so focused on this left flank. Oh, look at that. Yes. Glorious. Glorious shot there. Fantastic. Uh, the one problem we do have here is the fact that he owns the farmhouse. And finally, this troop is firing as well, which is great to see. Uh, pushing back that foot from the edge there. And you can see he's brought some more cavalry around this way. Some light dragoons and dragoons. Unfortunately, this chasseur got caught in the fight. So we're going to engage them anyway because they were already caught. I think if I tried to withdraw them, they would have uh, run away. So we're going to engage them in the fight and just get this other unit to just fire into them. So, Carl, be proud of me once again, please. <laughs> I joke. Um, but as you can see, the rifles are firing down on some of our Swiss foot. And I only realized that a bit later on. His uh, canister shot, though, is not really doing any damage. It's right on the edge of his range. But you can see we're just holding this area. We've still got three units of chasseur. It's very... Apart from the farmhouses getting targeted, it's quite a relaxed uh, central front, front right now. As Chasseur and Foot are trading trading shots and King's German Legion like Foot. And as you can see, I am going to run away over here. I do not want to lose this Chasseur unit to those Dragoons, etc. And you can see we're still targeting down. This poor units of Foot have just been absolutely shredded here. And he does move his Foot forward, which is a great move by him to fire volleys into my Chasseur over here. Uh, but we are going to rectify that very soon. But we are doing some serious damage to that foot unit nonetheless, uh, which is great. I mean, when you think about it, a chasseur unit, all of those 93 men now can fire at the same time. Whereas with a foot unit, it's only this front line that's actually firing. So we're actually putting down more firepower than them, even though they have more men, uh, which is always good. But you can see his uh, cavalry over here. They are um, kind of isolated. And I saw that. And we decided to go and push them. Over in the center, we're just trading blows still. We're just trading blows, trying to soften each other up. He is trying to destroy the uh, the buildings again. 
as we can see, our howitzers are targeting this farmhouse. Howitzers are not good for targeting farms, guys. Um, as you know, and here come the old guard and the young guard ready to fight. And here comes the old guard as well. The damaged... Oh, no, this is the full stack old guard. They are going for a glorious charge across the river. I knew these guys were on the run because we'd been pushing them back with our chasseurs. You can see I readjusted that. Um, and I didn't think these guys were going to get good enough shots off across here to really challenge us as we charge into the King's German Legion Lightfoot. Uh, and on the left flank, we are charging our young and old guard forward to deal with these dragoons. I wanted to bring them left, as you can see, just to get out of the way of uh, these guys from volleys. But you can see we're charging our last chasseur through. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, charging our last chasseur through to try and just disrupt these guys while we charge because we really don't want volleys going into this mass of men. As you can see, that would be terrible. So we're going to bring our chasseurs back while our other elite forces move forward. Elsewhere, we are still just trading blows. As you can see, everything is happening on the left flank here. Uh, and we are just absolutely shredding that King's German Legion Lightfoot. A bit of a mistake here by leaving my chasseur there. I meant to run them back across the river. And also, while we were doing that, massive mistake here. Absolutely huge mistake. I didn't manage to get my men in square fast enough. And you can see that has really, really hurt us. And is that going to prove crucial come the end of this battle? I do not know. But that was a really, really big mistake there. You can see the old guard and the young guard do hold their own. But it's still a mega issue. Um, and this left flank, as we can see, is just tying... This is doing it, doing it perfectly for us. It's just tying more and more men into this fight. You can see he's got four foot units here. If not five units of foot over here, as well as a Highland foot here and two of his cavalry. Uh, so we've pretty much tied half his army into this left flank with about a third of ours. So it's a big trade for us, a really good trade for us. And these guys are just going to have no chance against the old guard in melee. The old guard are absolute beasts in melee. And we do eventually manage to break that cavalry. A big mistake, though. We lost so many more men than we needed to. This old guard down to 53. This young guard down to 100. We probably would have been around 140 and 100 uh, if we would got those guys into square. So a big mistake there. But you can see the way has now opened up to come and flank these men, which is something that we're going to do uh, in due course. And as you can see, another bit of a mistake here. We left, because we're so focused on the left flank, we left the guys across there. And as you can see, Swiss Foot engaging these guys in melee, uh, as they do. Um, they charged across the river. I guess they saw that we had a, uh, a relatively undefended right flank. But you can see we've got a full unit of Swiss Foot here. And we've got another building full of Swiss Foot. And again, we're using our chasseurs to fire into the enemy rather than charge them right now. But we will go for the charge very soon as well. Over here, the... Uh, yeah. The foot are routing. They just can't beat back the old guard at all. And here we go. We went for the charge just to put them into square while we got our Swiss foot ready. And then we ran out so that our Swiss foot can get in formation and fire into the enemy. So ultimately, we want to destroy this little section as well. And then all they have left is the center. And in the center, not that much, really, when you think about it. So over here, the battle, the bloody battle continues. Look at that. Bloody, bloody battle continues uh, at Ligny uh, as we keep on firing upon the six-pounder horse artillery. Now you can see that they have charged my men. As the rain falls upon the battlefield. So the King's German Legion have charged my Swiss foot. Germans against Franconians. And yes, we uh, yeah, we are going to charge them eventually as well. As fire rains upon them. I don't think that fire that fire was probably not great. It probably killed a lot more of my men than it did theirs. So maybe not sir, the greatest sir, of moves there. General, he's under attack. And as you can see, more and more of their troops are getting fed into this building to try and save it. But all they're doing 
is uh, getting routed by the old guard as the young guard come down to try and kill this square once and for all. And we have our old guard over here and they are going to go for a charge on the 95th Regiment of Rifles as the volley rains out from the young guard into the square. Come on, boys. Fire at will. I guess they fought so long that we no longer fire in volleys. We're going to fire at will. And you can see over here, our cavalry just ran supremely through them, just destroying them in the process. And they're going to go on a rampage behind enemy lines. Nothing left to uh, protect this bridge crossing as we go. As the old guard go for one charge against the rifles. Come on, boys. Glorious. Glorious victory will soon be ours. Come on. As he is reinforcing this building. And you can see this farmhouse is down to 72% as well. But look at that. Huge routing going on as the young guard go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the foot. You can see the foot have more men. But our young guard are going to be more, uh, more powerful in here. Definitely. But you can see the old guard did rout against the rifles. Which is kind of shocking. Surprised the rest of the French army didn't route at that point, seeing the old guard route. But <laughs> we do continue. And you can see our chasseurs going on an absolute rampage through the center here. They have nothing against them anymore. And they are just going and killing everything in their path. So what else do we have? The old guard are coming out. And mortar shots still rain down. Sorry, howitzer shots still rain down on this farmhouse here. Not taken much damage, has it? But we are still in a pretty decent spot. We've got a lot of troops left uh, compared to the enemy. And you can see down to the wire with morale here. But the young guard do eventually win. So well done to the young guard. He's got a Highland foot that's come back. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that too much. Uh, as our general goes for the charge in the end. As the howitzer shots rain down upon the enemy. And you can see the Swiss guard, Swiss, sorry, Swiss foot coming across the river. There we are. Look at that. Glorious scenes. Charging straight into the building. Come on, the boys. And we can see the old guard on this side getting ready to fight as well. And the Highland foot were just beaten back by our cavalry. What a glorious battle, though, nonetheless. Very fun. Very fun battle. And I hope you've enjoyed this. It, Napoleon Total War Online, for me, is always so fun. I, I love it. As long as you don't get people that quit <laughs> um, halfway through a round, um, it is really fun. And also, the other thing that really does annoy me is when people just stay so defensive and just hunker down and hold these crossings and do nothing to try and probe. Like, for example, we held the middle. But if he'd have just left the right flank and just gone for an assault at the start, he would have broken us in the middle very likely because, like, all our elite troops were coming around this way. Uh, but that's it. Um, but, yeah, so we did, hunker, we did hunker down in the middle, but we had a flanking movement that led to us being able to attack that was an attack. So here you can see losses 1,000, kill 1,088, uh, 1,588, uh, and he did well as well. So great, uh, great battle there. And we do have a rematch as one of our other 12 battles of Christmas, guys. So stay tuned for that. But you can see Sitchin Howitzer, 193 kills. That is fantastic. The third best unit on the list there. The old guard, 268 kills. I believe that's the old guard that was in the building. Uh, and then we have the 6th Regiment, D'Enfantry Leger, 218. Young Guard, 147. Chasseur à Cheval, 94. Swiss Foot, 83. Chasseurs, 80. This other old guard did not do as well, but that is mainly because I let them get charged <laughs> without putting them in square. Chasseurs doing fine as well. And the Swiss Foot. Only this unit didn't even get used in the battle, so we had a spare unit uh, overall. And this unit... I think they were just in a building and they, uh, yeah, just died. Just lost a lot of men to that. But great battle nonetheless, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this 12 Battles of Christmas series. I certainly am. So please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again. Merry Christmas.
on the next video. <laughs> that worked, didn't it?